113 at 404 Route 9. Decent go traveling into Worcester County at 1592 and from Ocean City, 589 good through Ocean Pines, 113 from Bishopville to Berlin to Newark, Snow Hill, and Pocomoke moving through on that pro and that drive moving along in Wacomico County on 50 from Willards to Pittsville to Walson Switch Road and Hobbs Road, usual volume in town on Business 50 and Business 13, bypass moving along on Big Picture Route 50 good to the Bay Bridge. That's your traffic for the Voice Radio Network. Boo Mitchell. Yes. Hey, good morning. Hi. It's Bill and Jessica, Power 1017. How are you? Good morning, Bill and Jessica. I'm great. Good to be here. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Thank you so much for checking in. Lawrence Boo Mitchell, Grammy Award winning uh, record producer, songwriter. You got the Royal Studios in Memphis, Tennessee. Man, you got a lot going on. You do. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and, and of course, you know, not to mention the laundry list of, you know, artists and, you know, uh, big celebrities that you've worked with. I mean, Al Green, Solomon Burke, Anthony Hamilton, Rod Stewart, John Mayer, uh, Mark Ronson, uh, you know, Bruno Mars. Man, congratulations <laughs> on all your success. You're something. You're something else there, buddy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Before we get into the new movie that's supposed to be opening up in theaters, is, is it Jasir? Am I pronouncing that right? Yeah, Jasir. Yeah, you, yeah, you're right. Yeah, before we get into that, I, I want to hear about uh, working with Bruno Mars and, uh, you know, Uptown Funk. And, you know, I, I mean, that song was huge. Uh, talk to us a little bit about the work you did on, on Uptown Funk. Man, it was great. Uh, they actually, when they got to Royal, they only had half of the song written. So we actually recorded it, and they wrote the other half of the song, uh, just like in my hallway. Right? Mm -hmm. Wow, in your hallway. <laughs> Isn't that something? Yeah. <laughs> and and, and did, you, did you ever, like, imagine how big the song was going to be? I mean, that's got to be, like, one of the biggest know. songs, you know, in right. and, and quite oh, a long time. Yeah. You know, I really liked it, and I thought it was cool, and I still remember the first time I heard it on the radio, like 4 in the morning, and sometimes they pumping out the new music at that time, Yeah. and uh, this was before they shortened it, um, and I was like, oh man, that's the song. I was like, oh man, it's, it's too long, they may not play it again. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> Glad that, I was wrong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Too long, they may not play it again. That old gag. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, look, uh, they, they sure did play it again, and the hit stayed number one at Billboard Top 100 for a record 14 weeks and got record of the year at the 58th Annual Grammy Awards. Wow. That's incredible. Yeah, so that's another crazy thing is that that's the only record uh, made in Memphis to win record of the year. Mm. And I'm the only Memphian to have a Record of the Year Grammy. I mean, out of Elvis, Aretha, Al, Otis, Isaac. I don't know. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely. Now, you mentioned some of those artists. And, you know, Al Green, Anthony Hamilton, Rod Stewart, John Mayer, 8-Ball. Uh, so just, those are just some of the artists, you know, uh, other than, you know, Mark Ronson, Bruno Mars that you've worked with. Uh, what, what's like your personal, you know, like favorite taste? Like, what, like, what do you like? Or maybe just talk to us about some of the memories. I mean, I mean, of some of these big artists that we all know I mean, and love. Some, some of my favorite, so some of my favorite albums is definitely Mark Ronson's Uptown Special album. Uh, that thing was just, he had everybody's on there. Trombone Shorty's on it. The Dap King's on it. Tame Impala, Steve Jordan, Stevie Wonder. Wow. Um, so that was a magical album. I really also enjoyed uh, making a record with Robert Cray and High Rhythm. Okay. Uh, produced by Steve Jordan, the current drummer for the Rolling Stones. Right. Um, and those High Rhythm guys are the guys that played on, it's the backing band on every Al Green and Am People's you know, hit from the 70s, uh, and they're still around. I still love making records with them. Um, and I think the Solomon Burks album was a big turning point for me uh, because it was the last album that my dad produced before he passed away. And it was also Solomon's last record before he passed away. But that album was kind of like my graduation record. Um, for my dad just kind of passed me the torch and I, uh, you know, it clicked, things clicked in my head uh, like never before. And it was the first time I felt like, okay, 
I, I can do this if my dad's not around because always he would be around and saving my butt if I get stuck on something I'd go pop everything sounds bad and he'd come to the back and change a little thing and make the record sound different and I'd be going man how does he do that <laughs> right, uh, something right. happens to him I'm in trouble <laughs> well no, look he taught you well he taught you well so <laughs> Man, that's right. You know, you know what else is funny that I noticed, and this is just something uh, that funny to me is that here we are in 2023, and even like like I said, you know, I called it. Uh, I call them records. We're still saying records. Yeah. Still, that, that, that that's what us here in the industry. That's what we still say. And then when you say it to the kids, they're like, "What?" You're like, "Yeah, that right, that new record you got." Yeah, and we're still saying records. I know. I, I try to teach the youth. <laughs> right. Yeah. We we, we got to school them. They don't know nothing. <laughs> exactly. Uh, Jasir, talk to us about it. It opens up at AMC and other theaters nationwide. Uh, coming up uh, March 24th through April the second. Uh, JasirMovie.com. Uh, give us a rundown. And tell us all about it. So Jasir is an amazing movie. It it tackles uh, U.S. politics through the eyes of a Syrian refugee and a young black kid in Memphis. Uh, basically, Jasir lost his family, his wife, kids, all his family to the war in Syria, and he ends up in Memphis uh, working at a at a Middle Eastern restaurant, um, and there's this black kid, Jerome, played by Chuck Weezy, that's working in the kitchen that befriends him and starts looking out for him. And uh, Jasir lives next to Lorraine Bracco. She's a middle-aged white lady that, you know, has a opioid addiction, but she's watching cable news all day and is of the mindset that no immigrants should be let into the country. <laughs> Yeah. So she's mm-hmm. not real happy about him moving in, but he ends up saving her a bunch of times, and she slowly loosens up to him and ends up, you know, by the end of the film, she loves this kid like he's her own son. Um, so it, it, it tackles, you know, politics, uh, racism, all these things, and at the end of it, you know, it just shows us that when we stop to communicate with each other, that we actually all have more in common than we do differences. Um, and it's, you know, it's shot in north and south Memphis. Uh, Memphis is a big part of the film, the music, and it, um, I produced a couple of songs and it. One, uh, Night by Night, is sang by Lorraine Bracco. It's written by the film director Wahid al Qasami from WA Films uh, and also there's a Cedric Burnside uh, song in it called Step In that I actually won a Grammy for last year it won Best Traditional Blues Album Oh wow, nice. Well, and what an actress to get, Lorraine Bracco I mean, Goodfellas, The Sopranos you know, I mean one of the best Oh yeah, she and man, she had never sang before, and she actually came to Royal, and I basically taught her how to sing a blues song uh, myself and a uh, Memphis singer, Reba Russell, uh, who is a very well-known Memphis singer. We, you know, coached her up, and she's singing this song in the film. Wow. That's that, that, that's definitely uh, you know something to see again. Uh, make sure to uh, check it out. La Seer, uh brand new movie opening up at AMC and other theaters nationwide, March twenty fourth through April the second. And for location ticket info, you can go to justseermovie dot com. Uh, a- a- anything else we should look for from you, uh, Boo? Anything you working on? Got any surprises oh, yeah. coming? I've got a, got a lot of stuff coming out. Uh, new record with Isaiah Sharkey. Um, and some uh, record with BJ, the Chicago kid. So I've been doing a bit more of R&B and soul music this okay. year. So okay. It, it's coming. <laughs> yeah, no, we like it. We like it. Boo Mitchell, hey, thank you so much for checking in. It's been an honor, you know, and continue to do what you do, man. You're great. All right. Thank you, Bill and Jessica. Thank I appreciate you. you guys for having me. Have a great day. <laughs> Power 101.7 is honoring great students